So, um, let me show you what I have to start with. A blank screen to start with. But, there we go. Like I said, this one's about travel. Um, so, this is, uh, you could call it different things. I call it a scatter sheet. And I don't know, I don't know your English levels very well yet. So I'm hoping to find out, to hear each of you um, talk to me about different things here. Um, and here's how it works. I will just describe one of these things on the sheet until somebody figures out which one it is. And then we'll take it off the list and then they will continue and describe something without telling us which one, right? Let's see. Uh, hmm. This is something you do when you visit a new place and you probably walk or you might ride a bike. You probably take a lot of photos and you visit important places or famous places. Do you see it on the list? Day trip? No, I don't see it. It could be part of a day trip. Uh-huh. That's what I was looking at. Sightseeing. Who said that? I can't tell. Me. Luchan. Who's me? Luchan? Okay. Fine, Luchan. It's your turn to describe something from somewhere on this page, but don't tell us what. The feelings you get to with you when you travel to another country. Or... Passport? No. Okay. Things you take with you when you travel. You put them into bags and package holiday. Yeah. No, you have everything important in there, like spare clothes. If you're going to the beach, sunscreen. Package holiday. Arrival. Oh. Somebody will say it sooner or later. Luggage? Luggage. Like Chinese's luggage. Was that it? Yeah. I think that was Robert. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice one, Robert. Take over, please. Go for it. When I go on a trip or on a holiday, actually, um, you need to sleep somewhere. Hot then. Exactly. That's what okay. was easy. Okay. If it's a really good vacation, you only sleep in the hotel. Yeah. So who who said hotel? Uh, me. Not us. Okay. Uh. Um. When you go to a holiday, uh, and uh, you start having fun and playing with your friends accommodation no adventure yes adventure okay adventure. i could tell you some adventures from my trips but i will let uh, someone else continue who said the adventure i did you did you wanna okay it's your turn um you got there to um, take a plane. Airport. Yeah. Okay, that was easy. Good one. But who said airport? Me. Again. Me? <laughs> yeah. Robert. Uh -huh. Okay, do one more. We have enough words for everybody. Uh, you need to eat to go on a holiday. Suitcase. Suitcase. Uh, no. Uh, passport. In another, in another country with uh, a plane. Passport. Fly, fly, flight, flight. No. No. Passport. No. Ticket. Ticket. Yeah. You got me. I thought it was passport too. Who said ticket? Well, it was. I heard someone else and me. 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 Matthias and Livana. Oh, fine. Who's left anyway? Okay. Uh, 
some of you I haven't heard yet, but uh, fine, we'll get to everyone. Go ahead, Matthias. Then. Matthias. Um, when, when you go to a holiday, uh, and you go to a hotel, first you need to Yes. Oh, did somebody say it already? Suitcase? Package holiday? Because reservation. Yes. Reservation. Reservation. Yes, you need to make a reservation, usually. I think that was Iwana, right? Yeah. Okay, Iwana, you've earned it. Um. Make a hard one. Make it hard. Well... Or I don't know. When you go and visit something, you have, um, uh, and you don't have a guide. Instead, you have guide book. Guide. Guide. Is, it, is that what you wanted to say, Ivana? Yeah, guide. Yeah, guide book. Right. Exactly. A book that's a guide. Fine. Um, I think Patrick said. Something yes. this time, right? Okay, Patrick, let us have it. Um, you are doing a, a, a word from here mm -hmm. when you are going somewhere uh, where you didn't go never uh -huh. and it will take a lot. When you're going somewhere you've never been before, uh, it, you're never been before. Yeah, good. Day trip, day trip. No. no. And you will take a lot. Package holiday? No. Journey? Yes. A journey. Okay. Right, yes. So a journey, usually we use that to refer to a longer trip, right? So that's, I think, why he was saying it's a, yeah. a place you've never been before and you, you maybe don't know what you will find. Um, okay. But I think that was Robert, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let me guys here. Uh, French. Okay. Uh, let's skip around just to give everyone a chance. Is it um Fr French? Is that right? Am I saying your name right? Me? Yeah. Or is it Frank? No, it's not Frank. French. Um. It's Vlad. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. Okay, Vlad. Go ahead. Okay, we. Um, it's a thing where you keep your objects. Suitcase. Yes, suitcase. Was it? Or was it something else? Okay. Can I? Okay, great. We have a volunteer. Go ahead, Inika, please. Uh, so... It's the most important important thing uh, that you have when you go by plane. Passport. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Although, I mean, for you guys, I think you can travel inside Romania without one. Or even in the European Union. I need uh, my passport every time. Yeah, but... uh, we need uh, a passport if we're going... Like an example to Bulgaria. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I do too. But, um, fine. But who said passport, actually? Who guessed it? I think, do you uh, me. I said I never know who that is. Oh, it was Robert again? Go ahead, Robert. We'll get to some of these maybe that are more difficult, and if anyone has any questions, we can sort out any words you don't know. But give us one more, Robert, please. What? Can you do one more, please? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, when you want to go somewhere with the plane, you're an airport. Why? Uh, no. And uh, you need to go somewhere to get the plane. Uh, departures. 
Yeah. The partridge. Good one. Good one. That's an advanced subject. Maybe some of you might not know that. Can someone explain exactly what that means? When you want to go to the airport and get to a plane, and first they need to check your, uh, check your package, your passport, and okay. then you go on the plane. Okay, that's right. Does anyone know what the opposite is? Arrivals. 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 Yeah, good, good, good. Arrivals. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Departures is, is the place where you leave the airport on a plane. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask for another volunteer. Can I? Uh, who's I? Uh, Ilinka again. Uh, you're the greatest volunteer. Please. <laughs> so can I? Yes. Um, uh, it's, uh, hmm, it's, uh, when you arrive in a place, you are, uh, I was. you are someone when you arrive in a place. Oh, I was. Was that the answer you were looking for, Elenka? Oh, okay. Or are you looking at something else? Yeah. Elenka has disappeared. Elenka is howling at the moon, it looks like. Are you there, Elenka? What? Can you, can you say it again, please? Uh, Elenka has a... Uh... Hmm, I think she maybe has a connection problem. Fine. I, I suppose she was looking at arrivals. Yeah. Okay. When you arrive somewhere, would be arrivals. Great. Anasi, what do you think? Can you tell us one? Yes. The kids from a school can do this with their teacher. They trick. No. No? Is it hike? Yes. Okay. All right. What does that mean? Let's explain it because maybe someone isn't familiar with it. Excursia. It's, it's related. Um, hiking is maybe a part of an excursion or of a, a trip. Yeah. Uh, where would you go hiking? Would you go hiking in the middle of the city or on the side of a mountain? You're going in the city? And I guess it depends on the city. But usually hike to hike is uh, when you put on some big strong boots and you go maybe in the woods or on a mountain i guess you could do it in the desert but it's usually a long walk in a natural place fine what about what about customs what does that refer to a custom or well this is a little more specific yeah it's related um, no, well, if, if a costume is a person, like a customer, but... I never thought about that connection. Um, well, customs, <laughs> when you travel, when you go to an airport, I'm sure that you've gone through it before. This is a place where they check to see if you have anything that you need to pay for, and if you have anything that you're not supposed to bring between the countries. Um... I can say I've never gone through customs because I don't do business. I don't carry expensive things through the airport. Um, so it's a place where they they check to see what you're bringing in and out of a country. Um, 
How about hostel? It's like a hot tub, but okay. it's smaller. Correct. It's smaller, it's probably less expensive. And yeah. you might have to share a room with people that you haven't met before. Yeah. But it's a, I don't like hostels. Yeah. Well, I've had good and bad experiences in them. Um, how about day trip? That's an easy one. Oh, uh, can I say? Sure. Uh, so a day trip is basically a trip that you do in one day. You go in the morning and you come back during the evening. Fine. So it is. I did that. What's that, Ivana? I did that. I was just about to ask, where did you go on a day trip? Me too. At the beach. Oh, really? Yeah. I miss Sinaya. You went to Sinaya in one day? Yes. I have done that too, yes. It's a very nice day trip to take. Fun. Flight. I think you all know this one, but nobody chose it. What is that? When you fly with a plane, it's a flight. Sure. Yes, it's usually a flight. It's one trip with a plane. Good. Have you heard this one before? Package holiday? It's, no. Oh, yes. It's like a holiday, but you have a package. For example, restaurant, room, I don't know. Okay. Lunch at the beach, at the swimming pool, maybe. So. Yes, yes. Correct. It's usually uh, an entire holiday that you buy where everything is planned for you. Yeah. Okay. I think this is the only one left. Can anyone describe that? Accommodation. When you go somewhere for a long time, and, and you need to accommodate that place. Uh, it can mean that when you move somewhere, you have to accommodate. But I think in this in this context, it's referring to something a little more more short term. It actually can refer to a hotel, or a hotel or a hostel, or maybe you would just stay in somebody's apartment. Or in Romania, you have pensions that people go to, which is something else similar. So it can be any of those, but it's a place where you stay when you're traveling. Wait, we covered all of them. Let's see. Uh-huh, okay. Fine, I want to try something else. I just want to see who can come up with the longest words for each of these. Um, I'll give you maybe a minute to think of the longest word you can, starting with each of those letters. How about V A C A T I O N? How's that? It's not a very long word. Virus. I got a long word for A though. Do you know that word? Asymptomatic? Yeah. I think you've heard that word on the news. Fine. Okay. See how many you can come up with. Who come up can come up with the longest word for each of these? I'll be quiet while you do it. One minute. Okay, keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself until we okay, well, discuss. We'll see if someone else has one that's longer. And come up with as, as many as you can in one minute.
wrote this A. Okay, if you can write it down or just... Uh, yeah. Or just keep it to yourself and we'll compare after everyone comes up with something. How many seconds have we got left? 40. Okay. This is a chuck minute. In this case, it doesn't matter what kind of words they are, what they're related to. Of course, I hope that they'll spell them correctly and pronounce them correctly, actually, is more important. That's the fact they're thinking. Not very easy. Five seconds. All right, let's compare notes. Does anyone have a word longer than my word virus? It starts with V. I bet you don't. Uh, I think I've got one. Let's hear some. Okay, sure. Treasure. Did you say treasure? I said treasure, yeah. For T. You can make them capital. Okay. But how about V? Any, does anyone oh. have a word longer than vacation? Oh, for G, I think jungle, maybe. But no, not longer than vacation. You're thinking of J. Uh, but I think, I mean to say V as in virus. V as in vacation. <laughs> Is that the longest one? Uh, how about uh, vacationing? Ah, vacations. It's easy to make a word longer. Okay. Yeah. I think I have the longest word with A. Does anyone have something else? Asymptomatic. Arrivals. All right. I don't know if it's long. It's a good one. I got one. Arriving. Arriving. Unkindless <laughs> hours. Can you say it again, Iwana? Unkindless hours. That's a long word. I don't know what that means. It's a dinosaur. <laughs> I see you wrote it here. Ankylosaurus. Oh. Mm -hmm. See. So you can win by actually knowing words. Good one, Iwana. Does anyone have any words longer than Ankylosaurus? Yeah. Nobody. Oh, even no. the President of the United States doesn't even have a word that's longer than Ankylosaurus. <laughs> Fine. No. I put casserole for C. Do you know what that is? Uh, a feeling for it. Yeah. 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 Y
I see. Okay. Almost the same. Okay, good. It doesn't Corona have to be related virus. to food. Excuse me? Let's see. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Let's see how long it is. I think I, I like have the way you one. Think. Oh, no, I, see. I have Christmas. Okay. Yeah. That's a good long word. Christmas. One, two, three, four. With nine but letters. But you can say Christmassy. Like more. Yeah. Christmassy. You know, some people yeah. would say Christmas time. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they write that like two words. So. Does anyone have another one? A long word with. Some... I have one of tea. Excuse me? I have what, one of tea. Ah, for tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a very long one for tea. It's true. I think coronavirus wins. I say troubles. Troubles? Troubles. Okay, good, good, good. Tyrannosaurus. How else can you make... Uh, so, you can put an S on trouble to make it longer. How else can you make trouble longer? You know the word that starts with trouble? Traveling. Troubling, yes. We do use that word. Okay, but I think Iwana still takes the prize with Turan. But we must have Turan. a relation with vacation. Huh? So. Maybe Iwana can spell it for us. Oh, Tyrannosaurus. Okay. Tyrannosaurus. I don't know a longer word with T. Well, my word for I is important. I'm sure that someone has a longer one now. Insider. It's a good word. And it's a long one. I heard I heard another one that sounded longer. Invincibility. Can you say it a little louder? Invincibility. Invincibility? Yes. Great. Impossible. Invincibility. Six syllables. Impossible, great. Right? But or we can make. Maybe impossibility. Yes, I was going to say the same thing. Impossibility. But maybe. In... I think I said. Still the same. At the base, I said imported. Imported, okay. Investigation. This is uh, apparently. An easy letter to find long words for. And investigations. Okay, yeah, correct. Investigations, that's a nice long word. It might be the longest. What does invincibility mean? That means you, have, you, have, you, have, like, you can't... I don't know how to say it. You can't... You can't explain. Die. You can be big. Yeah, okay, one. okay. You you can can't be, be beaten. Or you can be like John Wick in in this Like you are uh, immune. But it's very similar to immunity, yeah. I guess so it means nobody can defeat you, right? Yes. Okay. I'm sure someone has an O word that's longer than organize. I think. Uh, organization. Organizations. Omelette? Organizations. Omelette? I think omelette is a better word, but uh, it's not longer. It's mm. one of my favorites. Uh, opportunity. Oh, nice one. How can we make that one longer? Opportunity. Optimistic. Optimistic, maybe. Optimistic. That's another good word. It's not the longest one, but it's maybe the best. Octopus. Excuse me? Octopus. Octopus, yeah. yeah. Mm, yes. 
What's an I octopus? Have, I have uh, uh, I mean, uh, oh, what? Let's see. Let's hear it. Optimus Prime. Uh huh. <laughs> Transformer. That is that are two words. It's a name, yeah. I don't know if that counts, yeah. but it's a good word. What What does octopus mean? Octopus is a mammifer. It's like mm. a sea creature, and it has uh, like eight tentacles. Mm -hmm. It's very. Oh, oh, eight. oh yeah. Eight tentacles okay. and three hearts, I think. Three hearts? All right. Yeah. Oh, that I don't know. When it's shared, he uh, has something you can see. Ah. <clears throat> I've never seen one actually eat. Fine. All right. I don't have a very long word for N. I just have nearby. Right. Excuse Nobody. me? Nobody. Nobody? Good one? Night. Night, yeah. <clears throat> Night closes. Huh? Never see. Never see. Ah. Hmm. Night push. <clears throat> I guess we have a lot of words that start with night. They're not that Nighting. long though. Nothing. Oh, no, nothing. <clears throat> sure, okay. Nothing, okay, nothing, nothing nice. Long. Now we're going to see. Do we have oh. any? Um, teacher, uh, I have yes. to go, but. You have uh, to go. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, okay. Will it be next week again at class? Or uh, have we'll see. We'll see. Okay, thank what, you very much. Time. Bye bye. Yeah, okay, thanks, Ilinka. Bye bye. Okay, great. You guys have come up with some great long words here. But we finished vacation. I don't think we need to choose another topic rather than vacation. Um, I oh, nice. Though I did need the uh, this. Yeah. I'll go down here. I <clears throat> I wanted to tell you about some things I thought of. Things you can do with a potato. Okay, Here's my list. <clears throat> you can uh, eat fries. Fries. Uh, yeah. Of course, you can eat Make it. A yeah. Clock by a potato. A clock. A clock. I guess so. I, I think though you could hold pencils in it. You just have to put the pencil in the potato, and it stays there, right? How about? Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, Have you ever tried this? You can, you can eat it. Yes, I did a stamp with the um the potato. <clears throat> you made a stamp from a potato? Yeah. How did you do and, that? Uh, I cut the shape that I wanted, mm -hmm. like a heart or a star, and yeah. I put some uh I put it with some color and then on the paper, and there's a the stamp. Can uh oh. You okay. can play uh, rugby with it or American Good football. One. Uh, ah, you did favorite. like a, a cannon. <clears throat> did you have one, Karina? Um, uh, you can. Uh, 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 Did you play tennis with a potato? Uh, I'm listening. You can use it as a shot mm -hmm. for a cannon. Okay, okay. Is that a cannonball? Yeah. Or, um, we call it shot sometimes. Too. You can cut it. That's true. That way you don't cut something else. Yeah. I, I actually have a good one. The water. Excuse me? You can throw it in the water. That's always a good thing to do. You can uh, Depending on the roll water. it. Correct, correct. How about How about if you if you um if you have some very nice shoes and you don't want your shoes to 
be deformed overnight. You can put potatoes in your shoes and it'll keep the shape. But you have to not forget them there because they will rot. Uh, Anasi, did you have one? You can uh, make a toy from them. From a yeah. yeah. I guess if you're making a toy for a baby, you could just give them the potato. Play yeah. basketball. Yeah, you could play I basketball once one. with a potato. You can um, um, uh, put it up when your throat hurts. You can put it at your neck with some, uh, with um, I don't know what to say in English. Make French fries? No. Of course, that goes on. Uh, um, tell me what, what but, you want to say. Yeah, what are you trying to say, Ivana? Let me we can figure out the word. Well. It's something. Um, you wanna zim here? Here. Che? Here. Oh. I, I to don't know. Too. Make a sculpture is a good one, uh, French. I have seen some sculptures made from vegetables that are pretty impressive. Oh, maybe. Yeah. yeah. You can cook it. True. Yeah. So I Sorry, did you? What? You're not finding the right word, you wanna? Am I right? Uh, I have a good one. Okay, Robert. You cannot charge your phone with it. <laughs> charge your phone uh, with it. Why not? You can, I don't know how successful you'll be. But... You can make yeah. a fish with a potato. You. Yeah.